What's good, y'all? It's that boy that got that man that main vlogger. And we're back with another adventure, man. And so in today's adventure, it's just something real slight, something quick, a little recipe that I had um, there on the truck. Uh, pretty much it was one day I was super tired, wanted something quick, didn't want to really eat at the truck stop, so I kind of whipped this up together. Um, so this is like my twist, my take on a staycation video. Um, you know, I, this is my seasonings and stuff I had on the truck. So if you decide to do it, you know, I mean, you might do it a different way and that's okay. Um, and you know, if you don't like it or see you with something that you don't really uh, click with, just know it was for me and you ain't gotta eat it. <laughs> but anyway, um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. Um, and maybe, you know, you might want to try the recipe and I'll see y'all at the end. These ingredients I got. So I got some of the steak right here. Uh, I got some cheese, got some salsa, olive oil for the tortillas and uh, browning the vegetables. What is this? Uh, some chipotle seasoning, salt free, Miss Dash. Um, some Montreal steak seasoning, you might not even use, I don't know. Garlic powder or onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, some Taco Bell hot sauce, <laughs> some of this uh, cilantro avocado dressing dip or whatever, and uh, the tortillas. And lastly, I got some vegetables, man, from Subway. So that's a little hat. If y'all want some fresh produce, you know, like little veggies, y'all need something. Uh, go to the subway. You know these truck stops be having subway, so I had asked for some, you know, some peppers, onions, and uh, lettuce. And you know she looked out; she ain't even charged me. So sometimes you might be able to get it for free. Otherwise, you might gotta pay for like a little salad or something. But uh, yeah, man, she hooked me on up tonight. So that's what I'm rocking with. That's the ingredients uh, I'm gonna be using. And like I said, you know, this is what I'm using. Uh, might not even use all this y'all might not even use all this or use what you got uh, on your truck or at your house wherever it is um, but that's how we how we come today with it so anyway catch y'all next right, y'all so first things first i got my thing plugged up and my inverter i'm letting it heat up and the first thing i'm gonna do is go ahead and brown this uh steak right here so what i got is it's uh some some pre-seasoned steak from walmart and it's the like fajita strips. So I mean, I got some extra seasons like I explained before, um, you know, just in case it be like bland. Um, but you know, I'm gonna give it a try. I might not have to add nothing, but you know, y'all know how that is. Most of the time, you gotta add a little something. Cause just like I said in the last video, we don't like bland. We like flavor. Over here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Brown this stuff up. And then I'm gonna saute uh, my onions and my peppers I got back there. And then, uh, yeah, man, start building uh, the quesadilla after that. I put my tortillas down, you know what I'm saying? Build it up and then round both sides, and that's pretty much a wrap, bro. So, yeah, I'm going to show y'all what that's looking like in the next clip. Right, folks, so I already when got started, you know what I'm saying? I already done started browning this for heating meat. Just trying to let it do its thing. And like I told y'all, man, while on the truck, y'all might want to get one of these. It do a lot of stuff and they heat up real, real fast for you. you know, so, like I said, we're going to keep browning this stuff up. And, uh, yeah, let it cook all the way through. And uh, it's already making its own juices down there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's already making its own juices. So I ain't really have to put no oil or nothing like that in it. You know, beef is already oily and stuff enough. And this is a non-stick. So I really didn't have to do too much to it. Uh, as far as, you know, making sure it don't stick and getting moisture in it. But anyway, now there we go. I should get a little piece right there. Hope y'all can hear me over this sizzling. So my last video I noticed that the sizzling was pretty loud. So hope that I'm talking loud enough <laughs> so y'all can hear it. Uh, yeah, man. It's looking good. Ain't a lot smelling good up in here too. Too bad y'all can't smell it through the YouTube screen. But it's smelling real good though. I'm trying to break it up some more. I might, yeah, I'm gonna add just a little, little touch of something. I got, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I just gotta add a little touch of something. 
It wouldn't be bothered if I did, man. So I'm gonna add, let me see what I'm gonna add. Hold up. I can pop this up without a falling. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna put this up. Put the spatula up, man. So, uh, this one I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some of this Miss Dad, uh, Miss Dash Southwest Chipotle, some garlic powder, and some Montreal steak seasoning. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna put in. Look at that. I ain't open this yet. I'm gonna open this and put that in a second. Look at this. Like I said, I'm gonna open this up and put a little bit of this in here too. Stir it up together. All right. So, like I said, put that in there. Stirring it all together. It's pretty much done. This stuff right here cooks real, real quick, y'all. Cook real quick. So, I'm actually gonna let it go just a little second longer. And then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and take it off and do the next step. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we in business. It's not easy. Hey fam, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm not gonna clean the bottom of that. Those little bits right there, that's extra flavor. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in here so I can get ready to saute these vegetables or whatever. Now hopefully, <laughs> I didn't add too much like I did last time and get that popping and stuff. We're gonna find out. I already turned the heat down a little bit. Might I'm gonna turn it a little bit more. Uh, turn it to maybe like 275 or something. But yeah, so I'm gonna let that warm up. Put these vegetables in here, these onions and these peppers. Make it do what it do. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I got these vegetables over here from uh, Subway, man. So shout out to Subway for that. I'm gonna try to add them in here without making a whole big mess. Bam. So I'm gonna do the peppers first. And normally, y'all, I would actually chop, uh, chop the peppers and onions up because I really don't like big bites like that. But man, I done did like 600 miles a day. <laughs> and your boy is a little tired, man. So I'm gonna leave them whole. And I'm just gonna make sure I try to saute them good enough to where they soft. That way, you know, it don't be that big old harsh bite. You know what I'm saying? When you take a bite of it. So I'm gonna let the peppers go first. Uh, Cause they usually take a little bit longer than my onions. So I'm gonna get them started. And after that, I'll put the onions in and let it saute on down and get it, you know, nice and soft, like I said before. So that's what I'm doing now. All right, so as you can see, these peppers, they done started getting a little softer. So, Oh, let me turn the TV down. Look, I'm watching a movie over here, man. Shout out to, you know, my folks I told y'all about before. They gave me the advice for the TV. Anyway, I was trying to say, the peppers are soft. And you can actually start kind of like breaking them up now. Um, So, I can do that, you know what I'm saying? Try to get these little smaller bites. Break it up a little bit with the uh, spatula. Anywho. Now I'm gonna uh, add these onions in, these onions. I'm gonna let them get soft too. Now for y'all that don't like onions, uh, when you saute them like this, it take out a lot of that raw onion flavor so it's not as harsh. So you just get like the pure sweetness. Um, when you put that heat to them, you know what I'm saying? I'm throw some more of these in here. She gave me a whole bunch of onions. I don't need that many. Um, let me do a few more. A few more. Alright, that's good now. So yeah, I'm gonna let these... Uh, get soft like the peppers and saute and cook down real good. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more olive oil. Um, you know what I'm saying? So nothing dries out on me. And uh, while that's sauteing, I'm 
I'm gonna get back to my uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get back to my movie over here. So anyway, catch y'all in the next clip. All right, my good people. I'm gonna call this good enough. <laughs> I was gonna call it good enough. Anyway, uh, it's all say down enough. You know what I mean? Now cut it up some more with the spatula to try to get a little smaller. But I mean, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But good enough for me. If you like your stuff a little bit smaller, then go ahead and pre-dice it before. Like I said, I'm just being lazy because I've been driving all day. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then we'll start browning up the tortillas and constructing the whole quesadilla. So, catch you in a okay. second. So first thing first, I'm gonna turn this heat down probably like to 200 because we're just trying to warm and brown it up. Uh, then, I'm gonna grab a tortilla if I could get it out with my hand. Let's see. Grab a good old tortilla. Like so. And I'm gonna plop it on down. Right there in the middle. Do that. I'm gonna grab some of this here cheese. I'm gonna add a little cheese on there. It's really tough to do with one hand. I'm gonna try to use some of this cheese as like a little layer of glue. That way everything don't hopefully fall apart when uh, I get ready to flip it. Let me see. Spread it out a little evenly. A little more. Also, that tortilla should be getting crispy on the bottom as well. Like I said, I'm gonna try to use this cheese as a layer of glue. All right, so bam. Come in with a little soft sauce. A little bit of this uh, cilantro avocado stuff. Not much, just a little bit, you know. Keep it saucy and glossy, you feel me? Light drizzle for some moisture. All right. Next, come back. What I'm gonna come back with. Oh, I know I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back with the saute onions and peppers. I'm gonna saute onions and peppers. Put these in there. Okay, get those in there. Spread the joker around. You know what I mean? Get it all over the place. Spread it around, build it on out, you know? But I feel that tortilla <laughs> getting pretty crispy, so I'm gonna try to hurry up a little faster. Okay, I'm gonna get a little steak meat. Add in there like so. Add some more. Okay, that should be good. And lastly, I'm gonna add a little another top layer of cheese to hopefully let it sit all together. You know what? I almost forgot about the lettuce. I added the cheese already. I forgot about the lettuce over here. Add some lettuce in there. Look at another onion. Like so. Keep it like that. And last I'm gonna top it off with the tortilla. I'm gonna put this last tortilla on top. I'm gonna let this, you know, Hopefully melt and come together a little bit. Then I'm gonna turn it up the heat just a little bit. Make it go a little faster. But yeah, the goal is hopefully this melt a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And then uh after that I'll do the 
the big flip. <laughs> we gonna see what it do, man. Oh yeah, man, before I pick this up, quick pro tip. Man, keep you some tortillas on the truck. So a lot of times, uh, I used to get bread, like loaves of bread, and end up going bad before I could use it. Like it started molding and stuff. So you know, you gotta throw it away. But these tortillas, they hold up, you know what I'm saying, pretty long. And you can pretty much do everything that you would do with bread. Um, just use a tortilla for it. Uh, you know, and you can always, you know, make more uh, like burritos and other stuff too. You can chop it up and uh, put them in the air fryer and make tortilla chips. You can do all kind of stuff with it. So, yeah, man, try to keep y'all some tortillas on the truck. Might help okay, out. So that'll do it, man. We'll cut this thing up. And uh, that's it. Let's see if we can cut it up and get a little cheese pull. Cheese pull action, man. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be good. Hold up. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Come on now. Don't tell me that don't look good now. Just Lord. Okay, then. Look at all that, bro. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Then, I'm gonna put a little. Salsa on that joker. Maybe a little bit of hot sauce on that joker. Or I'll put a little bit more of this on there. So, have y'all like it, man. Y'all do it the way y'all want to do it. But this is my twist, my take. And uh, yeah, I'm going to eat this thing, catch a shower, and I'm going to sleep. And I'll be up in the morning, uh, early in the morning tomorrow. They deliver this load about 50 miles away, so yeah, man, that'll do it. Uh, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, bro. Vlog out. Like I said, it's just my twist, my take on everything. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, oh, and uh, before I forget, um, if y'all are watching the series about how to become a successful lease operator, um, episode two is coming up real soon, so stay tuned for it, be on the lookout. Anyways, uh, like I said before, I appreciate y'all, man, and like, comment, share, subscribe, and that's it, log out.